Good day, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17, and welcome to the Charity Summit Weekend. This forecast is brought to you all year round by Geppettos, and you can see it at our website, wskitv.com for what's ever happening throughout the main high peaks region and for saturday what a perfect day for the summit nice temperatures just below freezing at the base in the 20s at the summit winds hardly noticeable with partly sunny skies so a glorious day to be out and about on saturday sunday it's a rude switch back to january with summit temperatures below zero at the base in the single digits and even a bit of a summit wind factor as well might pick up a little bit of accumulating snow we're just missing out on a bit of snow to our south. Let's hope we get a decent dump soon. The rest of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're looking at sunshine or partly sunny skies for the most part, but holding on to those January-like temperatures with a high of 13 on Monday, 11 on Tuesday, and 15 on Wednesday with overnight lows getting towards the zero mark. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail and conditions are looking pretty decent. They're still doing a lot of grooming to make things as best as they can. Loose and frozen grain are the conditions 84 trails and trail sections are what we will have open for you on Saturday. Here's where they plan to groom on Friday night. Very extensive grooming. As you can see, we are pretty much limited to skiing and riding on the groom trails after last weekend's stupid weather event. But let's hope, as I said, we have some real snow headed our way soon. Lots of grooming on the east side also happening overnight, including choker, which they don't often get around to. And also on the west side, they'll make sure they do West Mountain for all you folks living over there so you can come and go quite easily as well as far as the lifts go should be good to go with everything with winds not looking to be in the forecast on saturday that means eight o'clock snubber 8.30 Sawduster and Skidway, and 9 o'clock the Mooscalator at the bottom of the hill up around the base area. And Double Runner West and number 3 T-Bar as needed. Double Runner West will start up at 8.30. That gets you up to the top of Kangaroo Hill and also to the bottom of number 3 T-Bar. At 8 o'clock also, West Mountain Chairlift gets going so you folks over on that side of the hill in homes and condos over there can get yourself over to the village area nice and early in the morning. And at 8.30 the Super Quad and Skyline good to go. Nine o'clock, Bucksaw and Timberline to follow. And on the east side, Whiffle Tree down below and King Pine up high. Both good to go at 8.30 on a Saturday morning. So get out early. Temperatures are going to be nice for a change. Conditions are good at the outdoor center. Likewise, they'd like to see some fresh pow. But in the meantime, grooming has nice conditions for fast tracking. And if you have a little one in your home and you feel like pulling in a movie tomorrow after a day on the slopes at three o'clock, at the library, Mr. Peabody and Sherman will be playing, and that is F-R-E-E free. At the rack, check out this Booth Bay Craft Brew. Nice rack. Comes in 32-ounce cans, and it's going to be on draft all weekend at the rack, so pop in and check that out. And this is the big Charity Summit weekend, so hello to everybody here who's here for the weekend. Best of luck for a huge event on Saturday night, and thank you for all the efforts to find a cure for cancer.